on this special webcast of Mythbusters. Adam Savage son, Jamie Heineman son, and Ask a Ninja Ninja. In. We are not done with ninjas, Jimmy. The researchers have found us the ultimate expert in all things ninja. No, oh, who's that? Hold on, I'll call him. <laughs> it's the Ask a Ninja Ninja Man. How's it going there, Adam? Very good, how are you? Robot Jamie. We had a hard time tracking you down. It was easy for me to track you down. I thought I was tracking you down. That's what I wanted you to think. Really? Yeah. Big fan, actually. Was our whole ninja show your idea? Yes, it actually was. Actually, a buddy of mine who's a ninja, smaller than a regular ninja, he actually went inside your head and planted the idea. So are you like the ultimate ninja? You know what? I'm a ninja. I don't want to say I'm the best ninja, but I'm definitely not the worst ninja. Somewhere right in the middle. Yeah, well, I'm not saying maybe even in the middle. If I told you that, that would be too much information. If you label me more than that, you negate me for who I am. So, as a ninja, what did you think of our ninja myths? Guys, I gotta be honest with you. Those were child's play. Those were nothing. Those were just things that ninja babies do. First of all, just run down the myths that you guys are attempting to bust or not bust. Whether a ninja can catch an arrow in uh -huh. mid flight. Can a ninja stop a sword by smacking his hands together above his head? Uh-huh, uh-huh, right. And how about walking on water? Th that's it? Those are the three myths you go after? Those are our three biggest ninja myths. Those are easy. Those are simple tasks for a ninja. Ninja babies can do that. I mean, they have to. You know, babies have a little soft spot on the back of their head. If you don't learn that really quick, because baby rattles or ninjas are actual rattlesnakes that they give, and they'll bite them in the back of the head. If you ever know rattlesnakes bite you like that. So they gotta learn on, and then after that, a sword is easy. Wow. Yeah. And they can walk oh. on water. Oh yeah. Like just in order to get out of my room, like in the morning when I wake up, I have to run across water. I wanted you guys to get into the real meat, things that people pretend are true all the time. Like what? Oh, harpies don't bite. Harpies don't bite. Yeah. They do! You know what you need to do? You need to gather up some of the things that we really have to fight on a regular basis. Like well, what? A good uh, drag organ. A drag organ. A drag organ. A drag organ. Yeah, you know what a dragon is? Yeah. You know what a gorgon is? Yeah. Combine those two together. It's a dragon with snakes for hair all over its body. That sounds awful. It's pretty intimidating, I'm gonna be honest with you. That one is hard to kill, and there's a lot of myths about it. You know, like, oh, if you feed it 55 Smarties in a row like that, that they'll suddenly just implode. That's a myth, that is not true at all. It doesn't work at all. No, it's not, but I'd like to see you guys put that to the test. We deal with more urban legends. You mean stuff like, uh, like gravity? No, gravity's pretty well established as far as I know. Really? How does science classify it? Well, it is a little bit of a mystery to scientists, isn't it? I, well, I guess if you get to the root of everything, gravity, like the speed of light, these, these, the, the major forces that explain these things are, are unexplainable. Yeah, they're just theories, and they're not true. Gravity's not true. Sometimes I need to flip up in the air and just hang there for, you know, a little bit longer than gravity wants me to do. So you can do that? Oh, yeah. Can you do it right now? I could do it right now, except that right now it's part of a move where I would be above both of you and I would pull out your brains. Ah. I kind of like to combo it up a little bit. 